Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Streamlabs for your PS4 streams, Xbox streams, or literally anything. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click or you want to search up Streamlabs OBS. Scroll down very far or put a filter for their channel. Go to their channel. Copy and paste their channel link. Um, for me, I'm not going to copy it, but I, actually I am going to copy it just to show you. Then go to your YouTube channel dashboard. You want to go to settings. You want to go to community. You want to go all the way down. Paste their YouTube channel link. And then it should be right there. Streamlabs. I already have a moderator, so it should be good. From there, you already have a mod. From there, you just want to go to your Google. Type in streamlabs.com. Login. Login with your YouTube channel or Twitch, whatever you're using. After you successfully logged in, you should see this screen. Um, this right here, you want to turn this off right now. You want to go to commands. After you go to commands, you basically just want to add any command you want. Um, I don't know what you guys are going to be using this for, so of course I'm not going to give you like specific ones that you should add. But one thing that I do recommend is you should go to variables, scroll all the way down to go to user time, press the plus here, copy this one right here, not this one. Copy this one at all times. So when it says uses, you want to copy those. The first one, copy those. And then you want to scroll up to custom commands. Add command, type in like uh, exclamation point time because uh, the one I just showed you is about time. You copy that there and confirm it. It should look like this one right here, I'm pretty sure. Yep, the time and then yeah. If you want to copy this down so you don't have to scroll through it, that's one thing. Uh, it basically allows your viewers to have time to see how long they've been watching your streams, stuff like that. Another thing you want to check out is loyalty points. You get to check out who has the most points, stuff like that. You go to settings and you can enable it. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it, name it Poco points, whatever, whatever you want to name it. You know, up to up to your feeling. You can name it whatever you want. Um, now, since if you're going to be streaming this from PS4 and Xbox, what you want to do is basically start up your stream and then you want to turn this on. After you made them a moderator on your channel, you want to turn this on. You want to test it in your chat by like typing exclamation point time, stuff like that. And then if it works, it pops up the bot. That means everything is good to go. All your commands are good to go. Um, that's basically how you set it up. Now, if you have a PC, you could take this a step further and you could um, load up Streamlabs or I would recommend OBS, what I could show you right now. OBS is a lot better for your, your stuff. You could see, of course, my my items here, all of that. Let me go to intermission, see if I could show you guys real quick exactly what it looks like. It looks like this right now. Now, if I change this real quick, I could put it to my gallery right there. So, there's tons of stuff you could do with Streamlabs on your PC. Um, but one of the things, of course, is this. This is one of the best ways to show off your stream and show, you know, lots of things to your stream. So, if I go back to the starting soon, I showed you guys exactly how to load in. This is only for PC people and you have to have a capture card. But I will make a separate video of how to record and stream from your laptop make sure your laptop has a good ryzen uh, make sure it can actually run obs most laptops can run obs uh, but make sure it can run the like you know a lot of other stuff i'll make a separate video on how to do that if you have like a laptop but it cannot be like a you know a, a very old laptop with a bad uh cpu it has to have a good cpu and a good graphics card but i'll make a separate video on how to stream on that so make sure you click that subscribe button and drop a like thank you guys for watching this was just a short video of teaching you guys how to set up stream labs you know what commands you should put and if you guys have any questions that i didn't cover in this video please make sure to just you know type it in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching peace out